Okay, so just I want to discuss some tips uh, to write the answer and presentation of the answer sheet uh, of your CBSE board exam. Okay, first of all, first of all, you reach on center on time. Okay. In examination hall, you will be sitting and at 10 o'clock, you will get the answer sheet. So from 10 a.m. to 10.15, you have to fill the details of the answer sheet, OMR, your name, your roll number, your subject code, medium of the answer so that you fill correctly. Only you can use blue and black pen and do not uh, use the whitener or any cutting. So avoid cutting and use only blue and black ball pen or gel pen even also. At 10.15 a.m. you will get the uh, question paper and from 10.15 to 10.30 a.m. It is the reading time. And reading time is very, very important. You have to utilize meticulously because this is the time in which you can decide which questions you have to do in the internal choice. Means suppose in internal choice, if the question is given conversion, and the second internal choice is given a reasoning. So which part you have to do that you can decide during this reading time. So you choose that part in which you think that there will be no any mistake. Suppose if you are confident in conversion, okay, do it. But if you are not sure about the conversion because many students have uh, phobia about the conversion or they are not very confident about the con conversion so better you can do the reasoning question because in conversion either you get one mark or zero mark there is a no any half mark suppose the conversion is occurring in two steps the one step is correct but the second step is wrong or any one of the reagent is wrong so you will not get any mark there is a no half mark but in reasoning, suppose if you are writing the reasoning and there is a two pointers you have to write, suppose why aldehyde is more reactive than ketone and you are giving the reasoning because in ketone there is two alkyl groups. So there is more plus psi effect and more steric hindrance. So it is less reactive as compared to aldehyde. So in this case, you will get the, suppose if you are writing only one point that is more plus psi effect and you have, you have not written steric hindrance, so still you will get half mark. So in reasoning, if there is a two pointers and you are writing only one point, at least you can get the half mark. But in reasoning, there is also a problem. It should be correct reasoning. So you have to decide according to your decision because someone is very confident, good in conversion, some reasoning is very good. Suppose if you are confident in both conversion and reasoning and you think that you both will correct. I know 100% conversion is, I'm confident that will be not uh, any uh, mistake. So you do the conversion because if you are confident in conversion, but in conversion, you have to follow lowest root or we can say the minimum steps. If suppose the conversion is carrying out in two steps and you are using more than two steps, okay, three steps is okay. But if you're using four steps, five steps and while the conversion occur only in two steps, the mark will deduct. So B prepared for that also, the conversion should be carried out in minimum steps. But if the conversion is four steps, you have to follow the four steps, sometimes one step, sometimes two steps, sometimes four steps also, three steps also, but mostly the conversion which come in the board exam, that is maximum two steps conversion. 
So this is one point which you have to follow during the reading time. Reading time also you have you can decide which uh, portion you can start because this here there is a three sections section A, section B, section C. In section A you have to do three questions and each question carry two marks. In section B there is eight questions carrying three marks each question. And section C, which is the passage-based question, that means case-based question, where is only one question and that question is five markers question. So you can start, if you uh, think that you are okay, okay with all questions, so then you start from order-wise, means first you do the section A. And if you know all the questions, so better you can start from the question number one to question number 12. Okay, so now when you starting, suppose you are confident and you're starting the section A. So just, okay, after 10.30 a.m., the reading, writing time start. And this writing time, you have to utilize each and every time very meticulously. Okay, during the writing time, you are going to start at 10.30 a.m. So you have to start from any one of the section. Suppose if you start from section A, so just mention section A. The margin is there. In this margin, just a minute, wait. The margin is there. In this margin, you have to write the question number. Sometimes the students do not write the correct question number. So write the correct question number. That is question number one. In question number, suppose in this question number one, because as per CBC sample paper, in question number one is mentioned, do any two. These are three parts are given, one, two, and three. And question is, do any two parts. So any two parts you can do either one or two, or one or three, or two or three which you are able to frame the answer correctly and effectively. Okay. Now, how to present it? Question number one you are doing. The first part you are doing, write the answer. Write the answer of the question number one. If you are thinking, okay, I can do question number three. You don't want to do question number two. Okay. You write that also. And then you leave the two lines. So after every question, even every sub part also, you can leave two lines. Why I'm telling to leave the two lines? The two reasons which are due to which I'm telling to leave the two lines after every question. The first reason, it looks neat and clean. The presentation looks good. And the second reason is, if suppose in question number three, you want to add few more points. So there is a sufficient space where you can write. Or sometime at during the time of revision, you think that my part one is not up to mark. And I now I recall part two. So you have the sufficient space. You can write the second option answer. Otherwise, what happens if you not leave the lines and you want to add few lines or you want to change the number question, so it looks very haphazard manner, untidy. So better always you leave the two lines. So this is the part of the presentation. And one thing more also, suppose in question number one, you are confident about only one question and the second question you are not able to recall very confidently. So what you do, you just leave the space. Suppose you are doing part one and part three, you are not very confident. So what happens sometimes students do question number one part in one place and question number one part three at other place. Don't do this one. Every question sub parts do together. If you can't do or if you cannot recall the answer of any one of the part, just leave the space. Leave some lines and you can attempt at the end also. 
so for particular question put all the sub parts do together okay question number 1 you have done leave uh, you have left two lines now you are moving towards question number 2 if suppose question number 2 you are feeling that later i will do better better i can do question number 3 no problem if you know then do question number 2 if you not very confident you do question number 3 and again same thing if there is a two parts you just do the all two parts together and leave few lines and after that if you think that you want to go for section b because question number 2 you are not able to write properly so there is a two option either you can leave the space question number 2 here only or you can attempt at the end also there is a no problem try to do in order wise but if you are not able to write don't waste your time move to the next question now what is the next question how to do the next question suppose now you are going for the section b so again give the header as a section b and already margin you have drawn in the beginning or margin is already there it's fine otherwise already you have drawn again you start question number 4 okay you have done suppose you are want to do question number 7 you do question number 7 if you know serial wise do it otherwise you can leave it also but you have to mark in the question paper this dot put the dot that you can remember that this question i have to do at the end okay question number 7 like that but the sub parts you have to do all together do not do the sub parts at different different pages if you don't if you are not able to write here leave space for that particular question of that sub part okay if you are doing the numerical so what you do numerical for numericals just you make the rough column here so any rough work you want to do or any for conversion for numericals for anything you just draw one line and do the rough here so that anything you want to see from here you can write the answer also and one more very important thing for the presentation suppose if you are attempting question number 4 part 1 okay part 2 but suppose part 2 you are doing or any one of the part and the answer you think that it is not correct and you want to cut it okay part 1 part 2 part 3 okay there is a two parts you have to do but uh, you have done part 1 part 2 and you think that no part 2 i will not um, right I, i just want to cut this part 2 so better you cut in a like this so if you want to omit any answer just put one line do not cut in a haphazard manner and do not use the whitener even also suppose if you are writing answer one part uh, question number 4 part 1 answer you are writing any one word is wrong suppose you have written the wrong word and you want to change it so just cross it Be, uh, simply you can cut it suppose a word is suppose uh, enthalpy word you have written and you think that this word is wrong so do not cut in this man just you cut by simple line but you you cut it but don't use a white line so this is the presentation which we can say so similarly the section c you are doing section c you are doing and section so this is a, okay uh, so now you have done question number 4 question number 7 question number 8 question number 9 question number or suppose question number 10 whatever and if you want to do all questions of b part over here okay after question number 10 you want to do question number 6 Question number five, four, six, eight, whatever the left part. Or if you think that no, uh, okay, up to this question you have question number ten you have done, even question number eleven you have done, and you think that okay the question number five, six, uh, nine are left. You want to continue in section B. It's fine. 
otherwise if you want to do no i will do attempt the section c okay do the section c but all the sub part you have to do together and that is a question number 12 you have to mention okay you have to write question number 12 you have to solve all the part part 1 there is a four parts part 1 part 2 part 3 and part 4 maybe any disorder you can attempt 1 3 5 4 also or but try to do in order wise and finally whatever the portions are left for you so suppose in section a the question number 2 you have not done over there so mention question number 1 and section a if you want otherwise you can mention the question number 2 try to do all together at that section only but in worst case you can write but you have to attempt each and every question again i am stressing do each and every question if you are confident attempt that one if you are not able to recall in beginning attempt at the end each sub part whatever the uh, contents or concepts are recalling write that concept because if you not attempt the question you will not get any mark but if you attempt the question definitely some words will be correct and you could get the marks now one thing do not do the of extra question i mean if suppose in question number 2 or question number 4 which you have already done you have done one part and the internal choice you want to you are doing at the end there is a no any advantage of that so any internal choice question number 4 the one part you have done and the second internal choice again you are attempting at the end don't waste the time for that ha huh. if suppose uh, you have done question number 4 and you think that the internal choice is more uh, uh, you are confident and your answer is more perfect or more correct then you can attempt but if you are attempting the internal choice second part then you make ensure that the first part which you have done in the previous page you just cut it otherwise if any one of the question which you are attempting first and you are not cutting the second part so the question 4 suppose you have attempted the first part and now in the last page you are doing its internal choice and you have not cut the first part that will be only evaluated the last one will be not evaluated so internal choice or if say, suppose same place you are doing question number 4 the conversion part and option is the internal choices sorry reasoning part and you are doing both so this one will be checked this one will be not checked the first which you attempt that will checked but suppose if you have done both questions and you are thinking that the conversion is not very correct and you just cut it then this will be checked so make ensure that you will not try to do the over attempt question because that will be not evaluated at all okay this is one thing i wanted to share with you now the next